love y'all it's your girl shalom i just want to come make this video to say that if you followed me under the guise of me being a black hebrew israelite um you probably gonna want to unfollow me i am not part of any camps i've never been a part of any camps um a lot of doctrines that I don't agree with within the community. There's a lot of confusion and I personally just don't identify with what I see online. Um, does it change myself to be or what I believe about scripture? No. But as far as being a part of this online Hebrew Israelite community in any camps I, I haven't seen any camps that I would want to be a part of um, I'm, I'm not this I'm not part of it so I just want to let y'all know if you've seen a head wrap and you see a name like Shalom <laughs> I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Recha Ha Kwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom honors to you other brethren, you sincere workers in the faith, even uh, shalom to you few sisters and shalom to the elect Israelites. Anyway, um, I'm not going to make this video in particular about this woman who claims what is the title? I'm not a part of any Hebrew Israelite camps. I don't know why. I guess she said she did this because people wanted to know or whatever the case is. I don't know. But I actually looked at the comments. And uh, I've been hearing this quite a few times about the camps. How they're um, crooked and there's wickedness. You know, the scripture says narrow is the gate, you know. So... You don't think you're just going to step aside and uh, be part of that number, right? Now, this, if you're not a part of a camp, we're not putting out flyers. At least we don't put up flyers and say, hey, come with us. In fact, um, there's people, you know, there's brothers that, you know, possible brothers that come up to our camp and talk about GMS and Apostle Taha and various, any apostles and elders and us in our teaching so we let the lord the, you know as the scripture says yahweh gives the increase so this is not phasing you know i mean this is just kind of ridiculous if you ask me that every time people so get caught up so much in social media that they got to tell every little thing about themselves right just so everybody can know how they're moving right and the scripture says, be wise as a serpent and harmless as doves. Now, what I'm here to say to prove is that there's nothing wrong with being in a camp. In fact, Yahweh Shah, uh, took, um, when he took Peter, Andrew, and various others and said, hey, come with me. Apostle Paul was going uh, with the uh, Timothy, I believe, first and various others and had camps and set up churches. So I don't know why they're making it seem like it's not right to have camps. In fact, this is even a doctrine, a false doctrine, to say that you're not supposed to be in a camp. Romans 16 says, mark them that cause divisions, contrary to the doctrine. You know, to say that you shouldn't have brothers and you shouldn't be in a camp or, you know, if I was the type of person, I just didn't want to be in a camp and I just wanted to teach, then I would teach. You know, he gave us all the, you know, the able body to go out and teach, present our bodies as living sacrifices. So I don't know why they're making a doctrine out of not going to a camp or being a part of a camp. If you don't want to be a part of a camp, don't be part of a camp. It's not our loss, you know. I mean, that's good for you, I guess. Anyway, First Corinthians 14 and 40, let all things be done decently and uh, in order let me go on to 39 wherefore brethren covet to prophecy and forbid not to speak in it with tongues let all things be done decently and in order so we're prophets so 
if you're not a prophet, then it's probably not a good idea. If you don't want to be in a camp, don't be in a camp. It's not something that, uh, that hurts us. You know, it's the Lord's work. You know, these people seem, you know, they got this idea, these ideals that we are fighting, you know, to try to get, I mean, we are supposed to try to save souls. True. But they got the idea that we're in control and the, uh, um, and the Lord's not in control. You know, we have enough to deal with than to be worried about camps. And if you're in a camp, you're not in the camp, you know, iron shop of the, uh, iron, you know what I'm saying? So how is she going to learn? How is, how is she going to get sharp? Okay. This is just these crazy doctrines, man. This is just another doctrine. Anyway, the simp, the simple, I mean, the simp, he comes on here, R.W. Cons. And his channel is nothing but worldly folly. He said, I love this video. Reason why people have hated toward the Israelites too, because they think we all have the same mindset. I don't know. You are, I don't know if you identify with the Israelite. My apologies. But I identify myself as an Israelite. When I say that, their, their mind automatically leads towards the camps. Also, you hate white people. And he says, no, I don't. Or oh, you're a part of those black camps. Nah, not at all. You know, so we don't go around saying typically that we hate white people because it's not about black or white people. Nobody's black or white anyway. You have nations, right? And you have our, some of our people who look white and identify as white. So even these people, before they jump into that and characterize us, they haven't even did the full research. Okay? So you definitely can't call us a black Hebrew Israelite. And I don't understand the reason of being calling yourself a Hebrew Israelite if you don't want to be in, in kingsmanship or rulership. So if you got that thing where we all can get along, we all can be saved, everybody loves one another, well, just drop the Hebrew Israelite act, man. Just be a Christian. That's a Christian doctrine even though that they're using it to control and manipulate. So I don't know. Um, uh, it says, just because I'm a Hebrew Israelite does not mean that I have hatred toward other nations. I just have a strong faith in the Most High. Well, what did the Most High say? You know, and that's it. The Israelite community is toxic. I hope it changes in the near future, right? This is what he said. So anyway, he said, uh, um, let's go to Amos. I, I didn't even, I'm just now thinking about this. Off the top of my head, Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. So I don't understand why these guys who claim to be Israelites forgot about these passages. Somehow they adopted the Christianity. These are the Christians that they know something isn't right about Christianity, but they'll convert to be an Israelite, but they'll hold on to the string of Christianity, you know. And all this guy did was get on there. This woman, see these two things that two things that just took place in this video. Eve wanted an attention, and super super Jake dove in to give the attention. That's exactly what happened. Anyway, let's go to Numbers 27 and 15. Um, and Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, right? And Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, and Moses spake unto the Lord, saying, Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. Right? So if you're wandering off, right? kind of doing your own thing and let's say you don't want to be a part of a camp but you want to just go out and do the work and you are a prophet that's all right as long as you're following a doctrine nobody says you have to come in and you know come up to the altar and be be anointed you know and uh, bow your head you're supposed to do all the things the most high said for you to do we're not telling you to come up to us and now, again, let's look at the word congregation. It means an assembly of persons with an S. 
Now we can go through the, the Joshua and the camps and the history in the Bible, you know, go through all the scriptures and it'll go into the many, many camps. So Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 said there's no new thing under the sun. So there's nothing going to be new. So if you just can't hack it and you're weak, you know, well naturally it's not for you. And especially the woman, I don't know why she gets up there and say anything. Why does Eve has any, any output to say? You know, I don't get it. There's no particular thing that, is, I guess that's because of what we teach. There's no particular thing that you got, a woman got to get a purple garment and some fringes and a head wrap. And then she's got to come sit in the school. And then she's got to get a husband. And then she's got to twirl around. And if there's an issue, she can go to the leadership. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what they do. We don't teach that at Great Millstone. So this is not an issue with us. This is why I, this video dealing with this Eve is null and void. I'm just going into the fact of camps, right? A religious community, a organized body of believers, particularly locality, a group of monasteries forming an independent subvision of an order, the act of in instance of congregating or bringing together or the state of being. Now, Paul, if anybody knew the scriptures, at least and believed in the New Testament, they would understand what Paul was talking about, why he went. And of course, uh, <clears throat> there would be trouble along the roads. It wasn't ever meant to be super easy. You're going to have instances where you, you know, you get in situations, you know. Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, right? So a lot of these guys and these sisters, they're going to wake up to be Israelites, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. For a period of time, they'll be shamed. These are talking about Israelites. This is why Yahweh Shah in Matthew 13 and 9, it said it's given to you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but unto them, talking about the other Israelites, it is not given, right? This is Ezekiel 34 and 31. And the flock, right? Let me go to 30. 30. Thus, shall they, uh, thus shall they know that I am the Lord their God and am with them, and that they, even the house of Israel. Why, do you, why is a building called a house? When you look at a boarded up, abandoned building, you don't call that a house, right? Uh, remember Hosea 1, there's so many scriptures, Hosea 1 and 10, the house of Judah and the house of Israel should come together and point themselves one head. There's a lot of doctrine proving that it's all right to be brethren, it's all right to come together, it's all right to congregate, it's all right to be in the body, a unit. This is why Paul was talking about the body. He said there's one body, a one hope of the calling. So you can't make another doctrine and say, I don't want to be up belong to no camp. And then like every and love everybody, you know, according to a different doctrine. That is another doctrine. And if you have a doctrine like that, where are your fellow believers? Notice these guys that say they're not part of a camp, these sisters, they don't have no other fellow believers. This is why they need to come up here and make, a, make these videos and try to attract a whole ton of attention. Anyway, Israel, my people say of the Lord and the flock, ye my flock and the flock of my pastor are men. And I am your God, saith the Lord Yahweh. So um, this is an example where Eve is using his Femi status and figuring, hey, I'm just going to do my own thing. Go ahead. You know, probably be back in church. The world goes on next year. Anyway, Joel 2 and 32. And it shall come to pass. Like the sisters who follow us, they understand. It ain't all the extra, man. They, they, you notice a lot of them get up there, but this is why I am not a Hebrew Israelite anymore. <laughs> why I left the cult, you know, but they came in for some everlasting love or something, man. Who knows? Anyway, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered from in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And the Lord uh, uh, have said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So you're going to have the elect, you know, which is basically the elect. You're going to have the, pro the prophets, you know, the prophets, 144,000, 
women, children, you know? So, you know, we ain't gonna worry about all that. That all that extra. This is why I'm not part of a camp. This is crazy. All right, that's all, that's all I have on that, Shalom.